Hello everyone, Teotormo here for the Tech Tools. Today I'm going to explain how to do some MIDI hacking tricks which will enable some hidden MIDI features inside Serato. To show this, I will use this XDJ700 from Pioneer and I will show you how to map the jog wheels, how to map the sixth function using the touch screen and show you how to create a shift button using modifiers that will be very useful for deleting hot cues and other secondary functions so if you want to know how to do all that please sit back relax and keep watching the first thing to do is set up the xda 700 to work in midi mode so go to the utility menu go down to the MIDI selection channel and select channel 1 then go to the link tab, tap on it and now press the encoder so we can open Serato now go to the preferences and go to the MIDI tab now check that the XDJ700 is enabled now create a new preset and put the name I simply wrote XDJ700 what we have to do now is to map the controls that usually Serato allows to map and that are available in your controller for example if you want to map the pitch control just click on the MIDI button click on the pitch control and now in your controller move the control the mapping window change to blue we can try with the play button we have to map the rest of the controls so the best thing we can do now is fast forward this a little bit Okay, so now we have finished mapping the whole control, so we can exit the MIDI mapping mode, go to the preferences, and save your mapping. And after this, we can close everything. Okay, now let's look into the mapping we have created. We have to find the Serato folder. It's inside your music folder. Open it. Open the MIDI folder and open the XML folder. Your mapping is there. Right click on the xdj700.xml file, open with Komodo Edit. Komodo Edit is a simple XML editor and check the structure of the XML mapping. What I am highlighting is a definition of a control action. It always starts with a control markup and ends with another control markup. There are two kinds of events inside. Click events are MIDI input messages and the output events are lightning messages. We don't have to care about the lightning messages because the XDJ700 doesn't have a MIDI input port. We are going now to create our own code for hacking the mapping. Don't be worried if you don't fully understand how the XML code works inside the MIDI mapping. You need to understand only a few things if you want to adapt the code to another controller. We will use MIDI monitor. If we open MIDI monitor and we move the controls of our controller, we will see the MIDI messages. We are going to start touching on the black area of the touch screen of the XDA. We can see that control 28 is the MIDI message. Now we are going to move the jog wheel. And if you move the jog wheel only touching the external ring, the control is number 48. Now we are going to press the upper side of the jog wheel. It sends a note message, note number 32. Now we are going to move the jog wheel pressing on the upper side and we have a different control number it is control number 16 okay we have all the necessary data i have divided the code in several tabs here we have the code for the jog wheel 
it has three control definitions. The one that I am highlighting, it's pleasure move. We have to write here number 16. This definition will serve for the jaw wheel movement using the top side of the jaw wheel. The second definition, it's again platter move, but now we use control change number 48. That was the control change using the outer side of the jaw wheel. And finally, we have platter touch. It is the Noton message, Noton number 32. If you want to adapt all this code to another controller, you will need to change those numbers. This is the code for the touch seek function. We will write here number 28. This is the code that we will need to use the touch screen like a touch strip, also known as needle search. Now, here we have the code for the modifier. I use the vinyl mode button of the XDA700 for the modifier. Its note on message is number 18. And in Serato, modifiers work the same way than in Tractor. When you're using a modifier, you are activating a condition that can be used for triggering another control. We can clearly see that in the next part of the code. It's the code for storing and deleting cues. Here we have two control actions inside the same definition. In the first case, if the value of the modifier is off, Serato will create a cue point. And in the second case, if the value of the modifier is on, Serato will delete the cue point. In both cases, we will use note on message number 24. Well, we have all the needed code, so what we have to do now is simply copy and paste every chunk of code inside the original mapping we made with Serato. It's as simple as select the code, copy and paste. We will repeat this process, so we will fast forward this again. We have finished the copy and paste process. Now we can save the XML file with all the code. Now we're going to Serato, open the preferences, open the MIDI tab, and load again the MIDI mapping process. And we have to check if everything is working as expected. So let's play a track. And we have total control. We can also pitch bend. Perfect. We're going to try the hot cue. It works. And now we're going to try the modifier with the hot cue. It also works for deleting the hot cue. And finally, let's try the touch strip. Here I found a little problem, and it's that when you release your finger from the touch screen, the XDJ700 sends a zero value for the control. So the song jumps to the beginning. But there is a way to solve this. You can use MIDI translator and create a filter. And filter the zero values that come from CC24. It is quite easy to do. And after this, you have to disable the XDA700 MIDI output and enable the MIDI translator virtual port. You have to load again the mapping and everything works perfect now. Well, if you're interested in going deeper into this topic, you can go to the Serato app, right click on it and select So Package Contents. And inside the macOS folder, you will find the real Serato DJ Pro app. Right click on it and open it with your favorite X editor. I like to use Hexfine. And you can look for words like platter, seek, touch, and you will find a very long list of MIDI commands and variables that you can use uh, for MIDI hacking inside Serato. Hope you like this step-by-step -step tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and see ya!